Hey, I'm Sean and this is the Cans of Tarkia event deck. Let's take a look. Very nice little cardboard deck box with the Cans of Tarkia thingy there. Um, I believe that's the sideboard. Um, your usual paperwork stuff. A divider. More usual paperwork. The deck itself. And a dice. Let's start with the sideboard. Now this deck is intended to be used at Friday night magic events, so you've got your 15 card sideboard. Um, yeah, I, I could just tell you what they all are, but let's move on. Yeah, I know, I'll do a better job. Um, right at the top here we have Herald of... Annie Fizzer, which I have probably said wrong. Um, it's a rare um, outlast creature, human soldier, very nice. Blood soaked champion, human warrior, raid, um, spirit bonds. Now there's some older cards in this set, but that's always good. You know, it's a great start point for modern. Um, this deck's a white black. I think it's yeah, just white black, which is personally what I normally play. Um, Scoured Barons, and you get four. Awesome. Plains, 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 swamps. Okay, so we'll move those out of the way. Um, yeah, so as you, there's a rough look at some of the cards, which you probably can't see very well. I'm sorry about that. Um, as you can see laid out here are all of the main deck cards from the Cards of Tarkia event deck. Now there's quite a few reprints of cards from Theros and Journey into Nynx. I think I've said that right, I probably haven't, but that's not new for me. Um, most of the cards seem to work quite well with the red, white, black that's um, Mardu. So right here you've got a nice start for a Mardu deck. Just add in some red and away you go. Um, Things that I would swap out pretty quick would be things such as this guy. Yeah, okay, he's a 3-1 for one colourless and one white mana, but there's no effects or anything, so I mean you can find something better. Um, but other than that, I totally think this deck is really playable. Um, Scaled Barons, you get four of those in here. Which is amazing, they come in handy so much. Caves of Colios. Yeah, um, it does one damage to you, but having white or black mana whenever you need it can be really helpful.
quite a few of the cards make use of the raid mechanic and depending on which card it is it'll either um, make you discard a card, draw a card, lose life, whatever it might be 1-1 one, one creature, you kind of get the point now right here we have got Chief of the Scale and Chief of the Edge you get two of each in this deck they both cost one white mana, one black mana to get out so you can have one of these guys out on turn two if you're lucky but you've got four of them so you get all four out and you've got four five fives just like that and they only cost you two mana each because chief of the scale other warrior creatures you control get plus zero plus one whereas chief of the edge other warrior creatures you control get a plus one plus zero which is nice it really is um There's quite a few, as you'll see, warrior, 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 cat warrior, human warrior. So pretty much these four are probably your number one strategy in this deck to get these guys out to boost everything else. The one card here that this, these guys won't help is this guy, Herald of Ant for something or other. Uh, human Soldier doesn't count as a warrior as far as I know. Alright, let's take a look at the side. Okay, here we've got the cards from the sideboard. And right away I can tell you that Solemn Offering, uh, getting rid of an, an artifact or enchantment can be incredibly helpful. Might be a good idea to swap this for one of the Cat Warriors. Um, Glare of Heresy, you get three. Exile target white permanent. Great if you're playing it someone who has also got white in their deck because black white normally can be quite nasty, you know. Destroy target black creature for dark betrayal, you get three of those once again. If you were playing against someone using the event deck, depending on how you've worked in your sideboard, you could have a far more powerful deck than they do, or they may have more power than you, it just depends. A lot of it's about luck, still remember. Despise. Now, I I like this card. You know, you, you're watching your opponent. They they get excited about something they've drawn. That's when you use this. They reveal their hand. You get to pick something from it that they discard. That also can cause trouble after events and whatnot. So think twice about that. But body, watching body language is always good anyway. Um, brain maggot. Glare of Heresy, Drown in Sorrow, Despise, Dark Betrayal, Tormod's Crypt, um, Sacrifice Tormod's Crypt, Exile all, all cards from Target Player's Graveyard. It definitely will have its uses, especially with Delve. You exile everything in their graveyard, they can't use Delve. Anyway, um, I hope you've gained something from this useless rambling, and... You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, make requests. Yeah, let's have some fun and see. Let me know how you use a deck. I would love to know that. I will probably do something a little bit more on this particular deck in the coming weeks because it's you know the current event deck and Friday Night Magic events are suggesting that we use it more. Anyway, just have fun with magic.